Hey, and welcome back. Look who spent the night with me last night. Say hey. Hey. Like an angel, slept all night, nearly 12 hours. Anyway, such a joy. In this video, I'm gonna be showing how I make sourdough pancakes. Yum. Yeah. And a whole breakfast actually with bacon and eggs in my iron skillet. So let's get started. All right, sourdough pancakes. My starter is room temperature now, but it's been in the refrigerator, so I need to stir it. Remember, I have another video that explains how to make sourdough starter from the very first step. And I'll link that at the end of this video. I begin with about one cup. The next ingredient I put is the flour because I don't want to use the milk or eggs. They're cold right out of the fridge, and that tends to shock the starter. I'm gonna shake in about one cup of flour. I begin mixing it up with my knife. It's gonna be very dry, and then it's gonna start feeling kind of sticky and, and lumpy. At this time, I let it rest between five or 30 minutes, depending on how fluffy I want the pancakes. I'm gonna go ahead and get my eggs ready so they can be coming to room temperature. I'll use one egg for each cup. So there's two cups in the bowl, I'll need two eggs. I learned from a professional chef that eggs should always be broken on a flat surface like this and never on the edge of a bowl. All right, let me get my glasses. I'm gonna check these eggs, make sure there's no kind of eggshells in there. Then I'm gonna get them scrambled up. I'm gonna look at this amount because that's about the amount, the amount of eggs is about the amount of milk I'm gonna pour in. It's gonna start getting super sticky, which is the nature of sourdough. Now I'll add in my eggs. I just add milk a tad at a time until I get the right consistency for pancakes. And this is just about right. As with all my sourdough dishes, I stir with a table knife because it's lightweight, fits my hand well, and the shape contours to the shape of the bowl like a spatula without the drag, so it cuts through best. I'm gonna make the sourdough pancakes, bacon, and eggs all in this one iron skillet. Here is the kind of butter that I like. It's real butter. Kerry Gold is the brand. I'll start with about three tablespoons. I choose the bowl that has this lip on it right here for pouring the pancake batter in. It's just easier. When I'm using an iron skillet, it's usually best to let it warm up for about five minutes. So then all the heat is more evenly distributed. And that's about the time you have to start using a pot holder because the heat radiates up into the handle. But as you can see here, I scorched the butter almost. It's a little bit brown. It's gonna be okay, but I have to keep taking it off the heat because I put the butter in too soon. But I want my butter to be hot enough to hear a little bit of a sizzle when I pour this batter in. So it's gonna give it a nice golden brown crisp edge. and get a plate ready. Okay. As soon as they're done, I put a pat of butter on each one. Once you start seeing little air bubbles come up on the pancake, it's ready to flip. And once the butter melts, I begin stacking them up to keep them warm longer. And then I just check them a little bit Kind of just lift them up to see, see that golden brown? That's what we like. So. Sometimes if I get in a big hurry, I go ahead and put the butter on it while it's still in the skillet. Uh, Bina? Yes. Uh, Lily says jam. He says jam? Yeah. What does that mean? It means the bowl. Oh, the bullets are jammed in there. Can I try? <laughs> These are the two grandsons joining us for breakfast this morning. The pancakes, once I flip them the first time for the other side, they probably take less than a minute. When I know I have enough made for the crew, I'll just pour the rest of it in there, make one big pancake, and then I'll cut it up and freeze it. Go ahead and break up my eggs. Whoops. Sorry. You're sorry? Yeah. <laughs> About what? <laughs> that was my mistake, man. Back over just to get that brown bacon. Okay, two pieces. 
And we thank you, Lord. Okay, two pieces. And we thank you, Lord, for the life of this animal. I like using a spatula on bacon instead of buying a bacon press, you know, I just use the spatula to... Because I prefer multi-purpose tools, here's the syrup we use with no high fructose corn syrup in it. I iron skillet on the granite. Because the stone My serves eggs. as a heat sink. Right now it's not so hot so I can add the eggs. Yes, I am using my stainless steel spatula, but I am dragging it across there very lightly. Uh-oh, I better get a move on. I have some starving people over here. Sourdough, pancakes, bacon, and eggs. Well, I got it all done and everybody was starving to death, so we sat down and ate and I forgot to video it. But now we're all finished and we're ready to get about our day with a little worship and praise, a little thanksgiving to our Lord. Angels adore thee, all bearing their sight. All... And that's all that was remaining of that big pancake I made there at the end. Well, love, uh, that's all I have for you in this video. I hope this helped you to use your sourdough starter. Until next time, God bless. Look at how my hostas are blooming. They are really getting in full bloom here. They're getting tomatoes. Well, these are not tomatoes, they're hostas. Sourdough, pancakes, bacon, and eggs.